Hi everyone, how are you? So today's video is going to be my very first home decor haul. I normally haul. just do beauty videos, occasionally a fashion video, but when I did my update vlog, a lot of you guys said you wanted to see videos on things that I purchased for my new home or just videos about it, so I thought I would start doing them. If you missed my update vlog, my husband and I purchased our very first house, which I am so excited about. We actually move in less than two weeks. It's coming up so quickly, so we need to start packing. We packed a couple of things, but we need to get on the ball and then I've just been purchasing a couple of different things for the new house, just some new decorations, and just some essentials. So I thought I would go ahead and do a video on them. A little disclaimer, a lot of you guys have been saying that I talk super fast, so I'm going to try to work on it, but usually when I'm excited about something, I just talk really quickly and I ramble on. So since this isn't like a review or a tutorial, I might not be super concise and I might talk a little quickly. I'm going to try to work on that for my future videos, but... Just a disclaimer, this video might not be one so of those. So I got a couple of things from Target, and I think that some of you are just going to think I'm crazy for this next thing. My husband was like, you're seriously buying that for that? But I really liked the idea. I saw it on Pinterest, and I was just looking at laundry rooms. People have really glamorous laundry rooms, which I think is so fun. I saw some with chandeliers. I just, I saw all different designs, and since our house is an open concept floor plan, the laundry doesn't have its own separate room. That's not really because of the floor plan, it's just because it's a smaller house. So we don't have a separate laundry room, which is not horrible. I mean, I, that wasn't something I needed, but the fact that you're going to be able to see it if you go back there, because it's kind of off the kitchen, I wanted to make it a little bit more of like a nicer space rather than just having everything thrown So around. I saw this pin on Pinterest where people actually put their laundry detergent in one of these containers, and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. This is originally used for like drinks or punch or lemonade or... You see them for like bridal showers, I think they're really cool and I've always wanted one, but then I saw people using it for laundry detergent and I thought it was the greatest idea. I'm just going to fill it with laundry detergent and you can use the little knob and I thought it was so cute and such a prettier thing to look at than your regular old laundry detergent container. But yeah, my husband was like, you're using that for laundry detergent? And I was like, yes, because it's going to be out on display and people are going to see it and I'm going to have to look at it. So I thought it was really pretty. I just realized that I have fabric softener as well, so I don't know if I'm going to get another one. It was $25, one. which isn't horrible. And then, of course, I saw the same one at Hobby Lobby for a better price, so I was thinking about returning it and then I was just like, forget it, because it was only like an $8 difference and that one was on sale. But I really like it. I thought it would be a cute idea to put my laundry detergent from Target, I got this little container for my little puppy's treats. This was, I think it was $8, and again, he was like, don't spend money on that, but it's so cute. I love it. I love giving them treats every single day, and right now, his treats are just in, like, a cardboard box, so I thought this would be cute to put it in, and... I really like this. So from TJ Maxx, I got these really cool bar stools, which I love so much. You guys always ask me where I got my chair in the background. I got it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or like the same store. They always have the best chairs. So I knew when it was time to look for bar stools, I would check them out. I will insert a clip. My husband actually got them for me for Valentine's Day. I'm really excited. I thought they were just really classic. They're really comfortable. They go really well with like my neutral um, decor, I guess. And I really like them. They are super comfortable. If you guys are looking for good bar stools and you want something a little bit fancier, I guess, than just like your typical bar stool, I would definitely recommend TJ Maxx. Also got this from TJ Maxx. This was $8. These are just these little jars. They were made out of recycled glass. They kind of have like a blue tint to them. these in our bedroom. Our bedroom's going to be all white, white walls, a white bedding, everything white. We have a gray and white bedroom right now, but at our new place, I just want it to be white. I love white bedrooms. I think they're just so clean and comfortable looking, so I'm going to accent it with some like brown baskets and then like little accents of this color. I thought it would be really pretty and just really natural and I really like like a calming environment in the bedroom. So I got a bunch of pillows which I am so excited about. Since spring and summer are on the way I've been really into like this colorful mood which is not me at all. Normally I'm a very like neutral person. My house is pretty neutral. I dress very neutral. I don't wear a lot of bright colors but I thought it'd be fun to kind of change it up. I've been really into color recently and it's weird so I thought I would just go ahead and jump right on now it. my living room is just really neutral with like purple and gold accents which I love but I thought it would be fun to change it up for the spring and summer and just kind of cover my couch in colorful bold pillows. I might change my mind, hopefully not, because pillows are kind of expensive when you buy a couple of them, so I don't know. These are the ones that I got so far. So I got this pillow from TJ Maxx. I thought it was so pretty. It's just floral and bright and fun for 
spring. Then I got these two pillows from TJ Maxx. They're just a really pretty light blue color with some white. And if I don't use these in the living room, I might throw them in our bedroom since I kind of go for the color that I'm going with in there. But I thought they were really pretty. I got two of them for the price of one, so I thought that was a good deal. From Target, I got this bright yellow pillow, which as soon as I saw this, I knew I wanted it. It was actually the first pillow I picked out out of all of these. I just thought it was really fun, really spring and summery, and I thought it was really gorgeous. So I went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels. For those of you that don't know, they're just craft stores. They sell some home decor. Ho Hobby Lobby sells more home decor than Michaels, but I just like to go to them because they always have 40% off coupons online available literally all the time, so I never buy anything full price, and if you're looking for something specific that they have, definitely go there because for 40% off, it's usually way more affordable than you can get it elsewhere. The first thing I got is this apothecary jar, and this is from Michaels. I think it was like $25, but I used a 40% off coupon, so I got a pretty good deal on it, and it looks like this. I thought it was so cute. They have so many different jars there, so if you're looking for a good apothecary jar, I always pronounce that wrong, a good apothecary jar, definitely check there. I really, really liked this one because I wanted one that was pretty tall, and I just, I really like the design of it. So I'm going to be using this with some fake lemons that I got. So these are the fake lemons that I got. These are from Michaels. I got five of them. They were originally $12, but I used the 40% off coupon. They also have them at Hobby Lobby for... A better price and then they have them at Pier 1 for like $10 but you don't have the coupon at Pier 1 so I thought they looked really real they're really pretty I obviously didn't want to use real ones because those go bad so I'm going to put these I got two bags of them inside the apothecary jar which I thought would be really even if pretty. I just use that by itself I thought it would be prettier to put it in this jar than in like your typical fruit basket I really really like this jar and I just think it adds like an element of girliness to the kitchen and then I have a couple other ideas to add alongside so I think it'll be really cute I'm planning on putting it all on like a white tray so once I am finished I will put a picture on Instagram or show you guys in a video on my vlog channel and then while I was at Hobby Lobby I also got this frame this is just like a black frame all of their frames are always 50% off so it was ten dollars and I really liked it I had a plan for this I've seen it on you know Pinterest. how when they have those ugly like thermostats in the middle of a wall people put like a frame around them which I thought was really cute this frame might be a little big and I think it might look a little out of place because I was going to go for like a gallery wall with really pretty like black frames. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that anymore but I thought even if I didn't do that I really like this frame. I thought it was really cute. So our new house has a lot of windows and I'm not sure what I want to do as far as curtains go yet. I'm still trying to work it out. I, I really... I wanted to get like a really pretty area rug and then kind of base my curtains off of that and I just wanted everything to flow together really nicely so in the meantime I thought I would just pick up some cheap curtains. Knowing me they'll probably stay up for like a year or two and I won't ever replace them. I got them. these ones from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $7 but I used a 40% off coupon so they are super cheap. I've gotten really inexpensive sheer curtains from Target and Walmart in the past but they really were not even less than $7 so I thought that was a really good deal. I really like the look of just sheer white curtains and until I decide on what I want my permanent curtains to be I thought I would go with these they are super inexpensive and they're just they're the perfect size you really can't go wrong with them and then I also got these curtain rods I know so interesting right but I saw this post on Pinterest that was comparing curtain rods and curtain rods are one of those things I just don't really want to spend a lot of money on because I have to buy a bunch of them at least right now so I just got these ones they are just like a silver color and these are originally ten dollars but if you use the forty percent out of coupon they're six dollars which is so inexpensive for curtain. I personally wanted something a little bit different than just those like plain white I don't even know how to describe them they're just like the typical curtain rod that you can get for super super cheap at the stores that's what I have in our apartment now but I wanted something a little bit nicer but I didn't want to spend a lot so of I got money. these six dollars is not bad at all for a curtain rod they are a little bit more glamorous than the typical curtain rod they're still I mean they're not like an amazing curtain rod but it's just a curtain rod I'm trying not to obsess over too many details just because that can add up in price so for six dollars I thought that was a pretty good deal I got something a little bit better than just like the normal plain everyday one but not something super expensive so those are just a couple of things that I picked up recently. I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I got for my new house, and then once it is all put together, I will definitely show you guys. If you have any recommendations or you've seen any fun decor lately, let me know for sure, and I would love to check it out. But thank you guys for taking the time to watch. If you want to see more home videos, let me know for sure, and I can do them. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!